back with another video, and I have Freddie with me today. Hello. We are going to be doing the Judge a Book Bites cover challenge. I saw Sasha Allsberg or a Book Utopia do this. Wanted to do it since then, so we're gonna do it today. Let's get into it. We're gonna do the one who gets the gist, the most gist of the plot, wins or gets a point. Just and gist. Very gist. Very gist and then the one who just completely misses the whole ballpark has to take a shot or a drink of some kind. All right, let's get started. This is a book by Terry Goodkind, and it is called Blood of the Fold. And she can read anything on this page, except the only other thing is New York's best seller. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There are people standing on a little like outcropping on a lake. Two of them and they're holding hands, so I'm assuming it's a love story. I feel like it's a dystopian type of book, and these two are gonna brave the, the authority, and they're gonna rebel against the authority of this world, and they do it together, and they go through hardships, and... <laughs> Am I close? So! <laughs> This book, Blood of the Fold, in this in this world, there's it's, so it's a fantasy book, and in this book there are two worlds that were split. There's a world of magic, and there's a world where magic has been banned. Uh, and the Blood of the Fold are a group of people who pretty much, their sole purpose is to kill anyone who uh, is magic or is of magic. That is their sole purpose. So it's kind of right. Kind of not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll drink. Okay, next one is by my girl, Sarah J. Mass. Called a court of thorns and roses. Have at it, my friend. Well, she's dressed like she's a witch or a sorcerer of some sort. A court. It's very confusing why they did this. A of and court thorns roses. <laughs> a court of thorns and roses. Hmm. I'm imagining there's some sort of council, higher group of the witches and witches, and thorns and roses. So that means something nice, something something not so nice. Uh, so, a court of deceitful bitch witches, and they're in the woods. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Close. This book is about a girl who is a human, kills one of the fae, and therefore the fae come to take her away. A life for a life. So, when they take her away, what does that mean? So, they, they give her a choice. They, she can either come with them to live in fairy and never see her family again, or they can kill her. So you can just choose to be, be a fairy, you kill a fairy, you become a fairy? No, 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 not become a fairy. She has to live in fairy with the fairies and be their servant. Oh, slave girl. Yes. So, fun fact about this story that I did not know when I first read it, this is a retelling of Beauty and the Okay. This is one of my favorite books. Don't make that face at me. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and drink. This one is called More Than a Carpenter. Okay, very small. Is it fiction? No. No. Not fiction. It's a non-fiction book. Okay. More than a carpenter. I think that this book is about being more than what you are on the paper. Meaning, it, 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 it. Quit stuttering. It's having a deeper meaning to yourself than uh, what people just see on the outside. That's a story about Jesus. Jesus was a carpenter. I feel like that's right, though. No, you don't get He was more than a carpenter. You don't get to it's, just, no. It's about being no. more than what you are no. on paper. No, it's about the story of Jesus Christ. It's about him. The connection with Jesus is, I was going to cuss him, that's it, but she's not. Well, you shouldn't cuss and talk about Jesus. I'm getting hot. All right, so we got books about Jesus, apparently. I had to throw a wrench in it. Okay. So the next one, this is The Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. For those of you who don't know, Joey Graceffa is a very, very, very popular YouTuber. He is amazing. And he wrote this little gem. Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. Graceffa. It's not an S. Don't be rude. Rude? A novel by Joey Graceffa. Uh, okay. So Children of Eden, Garden of Eden, Creation of Man. Um, so it has to be somewhat of an origin story, um, but the Children of Eden, it's, I, I doubt it's taken place back in the beginning of time, so I imagine it's some sort of uh, metaphorical retelling of the origin story or some sort of 
new birth, even if it might be clones, maybe children created for some purpose, artificially, I would imagine, uh, for some robotic purpose. They don't look very happy. So I would imagine some sort of mundane or not their choice purpose, and they were created being the center of, you know, the Eden, it's the center of creation. Uh, that's what I got for you. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> uh, the Children of Eden is about a dystopian futuristic world uh, where mankind has killed the earth and uh, the government has created these specific Edens, pretty much, paradise. But in these paradises, you cannot have more than one child. So this is a story about Rowan, who is a second child. Uh, and it's about her trying to stay Close. No. <sighs> Alright, now it's my turn again. Based on the thrilling video game from Bioware and LucasArts, I give you Star Wars Old Republic Fatal Alliance. I'll be honest with you all. Um, I have not watched or played or done anything with Star Wars other than the movies. <laughs> the movies are classic. You need to check yourself. You better check yourself or you wreck yourself. Alright, Star Wars The Old Republic. Based, based on the thrilling video game. Okay, so it's a video game. Dang, well. I think you don't mind. So this looks like, um, what's his name? Darth It is not. Maul? It's not Dark Maul. Old Republic. <laughs> this is thousands of years before Dark Maul. Oh! It was even a sperm. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, so I think it's about the, the, the light side and the dark side uh, fighting against each other. And um, I feel like Fatal Alliance means that they try to work together to defeat a common enemy. And uh, it didn't work out very well. Probably this guy. Am I close? I'm gonna take it on this. I'm gonna take it. Oh. I'm gonna take it. So specifically, uh, there's a situation that happens, and there are two masters into apprentices. Two masters into apprentices. There's a, a Jedi and her apprentice, and there is a Sith and his apprentice. And uh, to essentially make it a way of trust, like they have to do something, but they obviously don't trust each other, uh, they swap apprentices. And so the Sith apprentice goes with the Jedi master, and vice versa. And it's essentially just about that. It's a good book. <laughs> I believe you. All right, so my final book is Fairies. An Ember in the Ashes, Ashes by I cannot say this name. Sabah Tahir. Okay. Can you read the top part if you want? A heroine, haunting reminder of what it means to be human and how hope might be kindled in the midst of oppression and fear. Okay, well there's a guy with a sword, a silhouette, and a woman, much like one of the um, one of the books that I had, Terry Good Kind. Um, and Amber and the Ashes. I gotta imagine that means there's someone who rebels. There has to be some sort of uh in the midst of repression and fear, there's some sort of either either this is dystopian, either the world is somehow ended or it's post apocalyptic. Some some kind of world where there's a heavy oppression. And uh, an Ember in the Ashes kind of means from the, the dust and rubble of the old world that went down, there is uh, someone who's about to start a flame up. And I imagine that's this guy holding the sword. Um, and he's supposed to sort of lead whatever it is, fight against the, the shit, the stuff, whatever the stuff is, the impression in favor. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It is about the society and the empire controls pretty much everything. And the main character's brother, gets arrested for treason, but she tries to rescue her brother and she goes undercover with the rebellion and goes to the, uh, the school for the soldiers. But in the school for the soldiers, their top soldier, their top uh, graduate, uh, doesn't want to be there. I'm curious. It is an erotic not-a-ma-ga, <laughs> Hey guys, so unfortunately at this point in the video, my camera actually stopped recording. Son of a bitch. Uh, so we didn't get the outro, so I just wanted to make a quick outro for you guys. That's it for this video. If you want to go follow Freddy, I will put a link to the video that we did uh, down in the description. We did a try not to laugh challenge on his channel. 
and I will also put a link to his channel in the description. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, get, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next.